You want to go to Bark in the Park? Well, with a new addition to that song. I don't know if you heard the very end I of it. I did hear the very end of it. Which, <laughs> just glossing over it. I was talking about my car. Mm-hmm. The car. You got to keep telling people that. Okay. Feeling very welcome today on a Friday, 97.1. We have Who Said It later in the show, the usual shenanigans. Beautiful day, the weather. David, is it put on this board? Oh, don't do, don't do that to it's me. It's what? Is, is this a drop on the board? I have to add that okay. during the break, yeah. It might be a technical issue. Might not be able to get to it till the end of the day. The number one seed versus the 16 seed. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> Classic David versus Goliath matchup. (laughs) (laughs) So welcome in, everybody. Hope we're doing great. Earlier in the week, you and Mike talked about something from Lions OTAs, and you dragged me into it, and it was a a something-or-nothing deal. Well, there was another note from Lions OTAs that we'll get to at 3 o'clock, and this one might actually be something. I was told that anything that happens in OTAs is fugazi. It doesn't matter. I'll let you make the case. We will be talking Lions on a Friday. But I wanted to start with something we didn't get to last Friday when I was in with Mike. And it's the discussion about grilling and when to upgrade your grill. Rico, you were kind. You were generous. You gave me a grill last summer, a hand-me-down grill, a starter grill. I think Mike called it a a Barbie grill. It was a starter grill that I gave to you that I had to drive over to your house because you were just too good to actually come and pick it up. So you, you give someone a gift, you deliver the gift. I just, I'm just saying, uh, but we won't get into that. But, but, but I asked if I'm going to upgrade propane grill. Yeah. Propane grill. It was, a, it was a smaller grill. I was going to get rid of it, but I'm like, it's still nice. I don't want to. And you were like, you needed one. I needed you had just one. moved in. Just there. moved in. There you go. Good starter grill. The wife and I, can, enough to grill for two people. But if you're going to have any more than two people, or you're going to throw veggies, you're going to do burgers, you're going to do buns, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Might be time to upgrade within the next year here. So I wanted to know. You think so? Well, now you're doing what Mike did. He goes, you're not ready for an upgrade. First of all, what does that even mean? And second of all, what I actually want to know from people is what's worth paying up for when you make the grill purchase, when you get the big boy grill, when you upgrade from the starter grill. You're not ready for the big boy grill. You're not. You're at the next tier grill. So what does that mean? Probably the $200 range. The George Foreman special? Is that what he's in line for? No, I'm just saying like, you plug know, it in, put the, on the counter. The $200 range, the ones you see outside some of the uh, the stores. I thought you were going to say side of the road, like someone thrown it no, away. No, you know, the ones you see like when you walk into some of the, uh, the home improvement type stores. Home improvement yeah. stores. So, Jim, what you're going to do on garbage day, you're going to drive around the neighborhood and you're going to look for. Okay, so you purchase a grill, but like a couple hundred dollar grill. Yeah, you, you're not ready. For, I'm not ready for the okay, five, let, let, six, let me, seven let me hundred thousand dollar grill. I don't need it. How often do you grill? And what are some of the things that you grill? And do you do it well? Like, <laughs> no, no. Does your wife say, hey, sweetie, you know what you haven't done in a while? Could you make me this? Right. Or is it just, oh, you were grilling again. Okay. When it's nice out a couple times a week, mostly burgers, brats, chicken, steak. And the question of if I do it well or not, I suppose is open to interpretation, but I'm going to say I do a good job. Is there a request? What, what other idiot's going to no, come no, out and go, I saying, do a bad job? No, no, no. But you, do people request it? Does like your wife say, hey, had a rough day. Could you throw something on the grill for me? As David is, you're the. Is that a fair statement? That is a fair statement. Yeah. When you make something, how, old, how long does that? How often does that happen to you, David? You got grill requests at your house? Well, now that it's warm, maybe twice a week. Okay. Depending so not, on, we're I'm, a busy schedule, so yeah. So I'm not getting grill requests. Oh. oh. I yeah. I, what what started off for me for the holiday weekend of <laughs> burgers and dogs ended up being smoking ribs. Like I thought I had the day off. Well, I'm going to be very clear. I'm, I'm not ready for the advanced level smoking where you go six hour, eight hour, all day, weekend bonanza. That's not what I'm in the market no, no. for. 
I would simply say this. If you're doing burgers, dogs, chicken, and steak, and you're not getting requested items, just say it. You could probably just stick with the grill you have. (laughs) You could probably just stick with that grill. I mean, if you want to feel good about yourself. I do, Rico. I do want to feel good about myself. Because you have a little car, you need a bigger grill. (laughs) You can go out and at the home improvement stores, no, no. Those when you walk in the stores, you know the grills that they have sitting out. Yeah, maybe pick one of those. The floor up. model. Pick one of those up. It'll make you feel better. You'll have more square footage. Is there something wrong with your current grill, no, by the no, way? Or are you just upgrading fine. for the sake of upgrading? It's fine. So why not stick with it? I think I'm with Rico here. If you don't need to upgrade, and you're only because cooking you, the basics, because why here's upgrade? the thing. If you're doing it with your grill, man, it's, it's like your car. It's like other things. Like you know it. Yeah. You know the hot spots. You know I can set things here, and I or you know what I need to warm this up a little bit. Or you know what I want to cook this a little slower. I'm gonna put it to this side of the grill. Get to know that grill before you just move well, on to the you, next. You, where was it? Middle of last summer. You're not ready. So I'm I'm approaching about a year's worth of grill time on this model, and I was considering. In open air in the office, I don't know. Should I get a new one? What should I? Th- and Mike shot it down immediately, and you're shooting it down immediately. And what I I'm do, I'm trying want, to be nice about it. Well, I, you're being nicer than he was, but that's not <laughs> saying much. I'm really trying to be. I would like the audience to be nice to me. If you're going to be mean, that's fine. I'd like to know what I need to consider when I'm ready, which is apparently a debate. The when you thing- upgrade your grill, what's worth paying for and what's not? Like the infrared stuff, is that worth paying for? The 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 extra bells and whistles. What's no. worth paying for? I mean, it's really just surface area is what you're paying. Okay, well, you when know you, the grill we're talking about. There's not a lot of surface area on the grill that you that you gifted. Right, me. but it's you and your wife. Have you mastered that grill yet? If you have not mastered that grill yet, then no. Or is this like a, like a karate class? Like yes. You have to get you get like your blue belt and then your red belt. Then you're you're not a black belt okay. yet. You're not ready. If, am I, guys, am I being unfair when I say? If you're not getting requested from family members who say, Cookies, think about it. Everybody has that family member, whether, yeah. you know, hey, I to say this very, your mother's cookies. Great. Okay? Yeah. That's how you became cookies. Okay? Fantastic. At your party, she made them. Yep. She did. I, whenever I see her, I'm going to always say, hey. Could you bake me? <laughs> the, the, the innuendo in this show is just <laughs> phenomenal right now. I hope everybody's appreciating this. Two, four, eight, five, but, but, no, but that's requesting. Okay. So when people come and say, you know what? Or like, David, man, that macaroni and cheese you made was on. Sl- could you could you bring some of that to the barbecue? That means it's so good. Okay, I've mastered this. No, you're right about that. That happened to me over the weekend. Now we did simple things. We just kept it simple. But my mom still called me and said, look, can you can you just take care of the grilling today? Yeah. It was simple things, but I was requested. But so. I couldn't even have a party of more than three or four people with the grill I've got. Yes, you could. You can. You could. You, you probably could. Costa, I've had grills smaller than that and hosted parties. It's not the grill. It's the cook. <laughs> I can only imagine what the ticket textures have to say. We will check in on the phones. We will check in on Lions OTAs at three. I know David's got a football today. We've got a lot of ground to cover. It's 97-1.